Okay, so we're going to quickly finish up our 4.1 lesson. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you've ever um, done the multiplication or even division of a number that got very, very small to where it's either, um, well, I guess very small if you're doing division to where it can't show uh, enough decimals before it gets to a number, or you are multiplying and it's such a big number that not all the digits can fit on the screen, your, com your calculator, most of them, some of them, very few that I have seen, actually show that whatever our number is, so we'll do like 3.5 four, five, six times 10 to the 30th power, which would mean that this decimal moved 30 places to the right. That's what that means. Now, that's a big number. That number will not fit on calculators. So what a calculator does is instead of showing this, because it can't really show you an exponent, most calculators can't write it as an exponent anyway, what it will produce will be a 3.456e plus 30, or even just 30. And that is its way of saying this is scientific notation. It could also, instead of a capital E, it could be, so you could see a capital E or a little e, but we're going to be acting as if it's a capital E. And again, that's just what the calculators use to represent scientific notation. So we're going to take that. Um, and okay, so because you got a couple of these on your homework, let's do a quick. And I know I didn't give you a blank slide. You can just do this off to the side in the margins, something like that. Um, but if you are given a number, say, 4.5e to the negative 10, uh, it's going to ask you to write this in scientific notation. And so to write it in scientific notation, we're going to write 4.5. I replace the e with times 10, and this is my exponent. So negative 10 right there on top. And that would be our answer. So that brings us similar to, or moving on to our next example. We want to match our calculator result with the calculation written in scientific notation. So here are my calculator results. Helps if I could talk. And then here are our different calculations. I'm going to start by going down to the calculations and then bringing them up and matching them with these up here. So if I am multiplying, then I am increasing my number. My number is going to get bigger. And so that if we're doing multiplication in this instance, excuse me, we're going to be looking at the ones with the plus and then a number. So for A, I am between 5.2e plus 17 and 5.2e plus 15. And so in order, so when I multiply by this, what? A thousand, million, billion, 100 billion, um, thousand, 100 million, let me speak this correctly, um, I'm going to add this many zeros to the end of my number, right? And so if I'm going to go from 0 0.2, then really from this digit plus all the zeros is what I need to count. So. My zeros are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? We have eight zeros there. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but I've got to move my decimal between the 5 and the 2. So that makes 7. And 7 plus 8 is 15, right? 7 plus 8. So that means there are, no, come back. That means that there are 15 decimal moves or technically 
14 zeros behind the 2. And so this 5.2e plus 15, which is the same as 5.2 times 10 to the 15th, is our answer for A. So then moving on to B, we're dividing, and when we divide, we make our number smaller. And so really what this means is I am moving my decimal to the left the number of zeros that I have here. So here we have, again, 100 mil. And so our decimal starts here. So I'm moving two, which would take away two of our zeros here. So when I count my zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and actually I would move those two, but I also, also I want it between the five and the two when we end. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we take a zero away because that would be our move from the behind the two to in front of the two. And so seven is our answer. And because it's division, it's going to be one of these negatives. So this is the same as 5.2 times 10 to the negative seven, which we get when we type this into a calculator. So B gives us our answer. And really, unless you have more, whatever digits you count. So we had to move between the five and the two. That was one digit that we moved. So we kind of just took out one zero and counted the rest. That's how I thought of that. Instead of type, you could, you could easily type it into the calculator, but then you have to doubly check and make sure that your zeros are all correct. I'm just using what I know about when I multiply by a power of 10, meaning 10, 100, 1,000, and the fact that I am moving decimal places. All right, so moving on to C. Here, we're going to count all of our zeros. It's multiplication, so I know it has to be um, our plus. So really, that tells me exactly where my answer should be because I have one positive, one negative left. And yes, on a state test, please by all means use that. Um, but I want us to see why it's plus 17. So here we have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, move between the five and the two and we get 17. So this is the same as 5.2 times 10 to the 17th power, which we get when we calculate C. And I guess I didn't really explain. The reason I'm not counting the ones in any of these is when I take one times any number, it becomes the number I multiplied it by. So the one isn't a digit that's going to stay. That one times the 5.2 is going to give us 5.2. So. I just realized I didn't tell you about that. All right, so then um, D, we're doing division, which means we need the negative. Yes, by elimination, we know it's this one, but let's see why it's this one. And so remember, since I want this between the 5 and the 2, and that means that I'm moving it that one this way, I'm going to ignore one of these zeros, and I will count the rest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, and that is why this is 5.2 times 10 to the 10th power, negative 10th power because of the dividing. And so this with the E is written as 5.2 times 10 to the negative 10th power. If you have questions, please ask me when you see me in class. Um, this is really a whole bunch of just is it scientific notation and can you rewrite this in scientific notation? So until next time.